Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft pushes out ad suggestions and recommendations for its different products and services in both Windows 10 and Windows 11, as many of you all know who do use both operating systems. And because of this, um, if, if you want to decrease these distractions, I posted a video at the end of September on how to disable ads in Windows 11, which can also apply to some extent or the other to Windows 10. But I'll leave that video down below if you want to go check that out. Now, basically just to carry on with the part two of how you can try to disable ads in Windows 11. And that's how to basically block Windows 11 from using the diagnostic data now to show you those ads, suggestions, and recommendations. Now, first of all, um, as many of you will know, just to do a quick recap, with Windows 10, Microsoft increased the telemetry, the so-called phone-in home between your OS and their Microsoft servers, where they introduced um, a setting for basic diagnostic data that is collected and submitted to Microsoft with Windows and in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, this uh, setting is an opt-in optional setting to send that diagnostic data. So if we just head over to our settings and head over to privacy and security, and we head to diagnostics and feedback, if we open that, yeah, you'll see that under diagnostic data, there's sent optional diagnostic data. Now, this is what I'm talking about. And um, it says, help Microsoft improve your Windows experience and fix problems more quickly by sending us additional diagnostic data. This includes data about websites you browse, how you use apps and features, and enhanced error reporting. Now, if you are not wanting to use this feature, because... Um, as Microsoft says, your device will be equally secure and will operate normally even if you choose not to send optional diagnostic data. Then you can toggle this off. Now, just one quick side note. If you turn this off and you are um, a Windows Insider, this is a requirement for receiving those Insider bolts. So you cannot turn this off if you want to be part of the Windows 11 Insider program. So just take note of that because Microsoft needs this data uh, for feedback regarding those builds and testing and working on new features and so on. So just as a side note, take note of that. Now, over and above turning this feature off, another feature that is available in case you're unaware is that um, Windows 11 can also use the data from a feature that's called Microsoft Tailored Experiences, which can be found under this setting. And as you can see, I have already turned that off because... When I set up my device, I basically turn off all of these additional settings. I leave this on just for the purpose of this channel, but I turn all these others off. And if you click on Tailored Experiences, here you will see a setting saying, let Microsoft use your diagnostic data, excluding info about websites you browse, to enhance your product experiences with personalized tips, ads, and recommendations. So I strongly suggest that um, you turn this off if you are seeing a lot of ads and um, pop-ups and recommendations, notifications that are not needed, kind of pushing the different Microsoft products and services. I do recommend turning that setting off. And once this setting is turned off, um, Windows 11 won't use your diagnostic data with the, the, the uh, tailored experiences anymore for tips, ads, and recommendations. So over and above what I've talked about in that first video, which as mentioned, will be left down below, I do suggest turning off this setting uh, if you are not in the Insider program. And obviously this next one, Tailored Experiences, turn that off and that will also decrease to a large extent the amount of ads, suggestions and recommendations that Microsoft is pushing out uh, to your OS for its different products and services. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.